striking prosecutor with a love for grilling. Question, I will repeat. And music. Nation under a groove. California Senator Kamala Harris is making history as the first woman and first woman of color elected vice president. Let's talk about who is prepared to lead our country over the course of the next four years. She ran for president, going head to head with Biden over school busing. You know, there was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. But she later endorsed him, and he picked her as his running mate. And soon, they will be entering the White House together. I am incredibly honored by this responsibility, and I am ready to get to work. Harris has a track record of being the first. Maybe the first to do many things, but make sure you're not the last. She was the first black person and first woman to become district attorney of San Francisco and later attorney general of California. I decided to become a prosecutor because I believed that there were vulnerable and voiceless people who deserved to have a voice in that system. And in 2016, she was elected the first black senator from California. And now she will be the first woman, first black person, and first person of Asian descent elected to the country's second highest office. So what is she known for in Washington? So my question to you. As a senator, Harris served on four committees and was perhaps best known for her tough questions. It makes me nervous. Is that a no? Is that a yes? Can I get to respond, please, ma'am? No, sir. No, no. And some of her policy priorities? Criminal justice reform and racial justice legislation. After George Floyd's killing in police custody, Harris became an outspoken voice in the national debate on police brutality. We should have things like a national standard for excessive use of force. And on the campaign trail, she doubled down on that message, making a concerted effort to reach voters of color. People have been asking, why should I vote? One, honor the ancestors. Honor people like the late, great John Lewis who shed his blood on that Edmund Pettus bridge so we could vote. But she has faced criticism from progressive activists over her record as a prosecutor, including her push for higher cash bails for certain crimes and for refusing to support independent investigations for police shootings as recently as 2014. So what does she bring to the White House? She is policy-oriented and pragmatic. Proponents say that her experience in law enforcement will help her face the unique challenges of the moment, and that her lack of ideological rigidity makes her well-suited for the vice presidency. We can overcome these challenges. Harris embodies the future of a country that is growing more racially diverse. As one of the best-known black women in American politics, Harris now finds herself the most clearly positioned heir to the White House, with the oldest incoming president in history. Preview.